Hey everybody, in today's video, we're gonna take a quick look at the new 20 millimeter F1.8. Right, I have had this lens with me for a couple of weeks now. I got this lens and also the 24 to 200 millimeter lens at the same time, and then I had to try and you know, use them as best I could at the same time as well. Um, if you are interested in that 24 to 200 and you've not seen that video, I'll put a link up somewhere, or I'll put a link in the description as well. This is a lens that I have been excited for for quite a while because I do shoot a lot of landscape photography, and I have been using the 14 to 30, and I've just been wanting a wide angle prime. Now, I, I would absolutely love a 14 millimeter prime, but we don't have anything that wide so far. So what we have is the widest prime so far is this 20 millimeter 1.8. The biggest thing quite literally about this 20 millimeter 1.8 is that when you first see it or when you first kind of get to see it in person is that it's big. It's actually the biggest prime you can get so far for the Z series lenses. It is bigger than the 24 mm 1.8 prime. It's even slightly bigger than the 85 mm prime. So it is a big lens. And especially when you compare that to kind of the F mount 24 mm 1.8, they are very different in terms of size. And weight wise, there's not a massive difference in weight, probably slightly heavier over here. But the reason that this lens is so big is because you quite clearly they've focused a lot on picture quality. So sharpness, detail, especially edge sharpness is a really big thing to do with kind of the size and weight of this lens. Now, I know that a lot of people want smaller, lighter lenses, but if you were to ask a lens designer to make the lens the best that it can be, they'd make it as large as possible. So there's always gonna be this trade-off between having the best kind of sharpness, detail, corner sharpness, and best picture quality out of a full frame lens, and it just being a larger, heavier lens. So I, for one, am happy with the direction they've gone with this lens. Yes, you'll physically feel like, you know, when you pick it up and you'll go, wow, this is actually a pretty large prime. Compared to the other primes that you have for the Z6 and Z7, this is pretty big. Now, that doesn't really bother me, especially because most people would generally be using this for landscape photography with filters, things like that. So it's actually, I prefer kind of the layout that they've gone for. So I am going to do some more detailed tests with this lens for landscape photography with filters, corner sharpness, also nighttime photography. So Milky Way, how does it deal kind of with all those different types of shooting situations? So those will be videos that will eventually appear but for now, this is just a quick look at this video. So as with all the other prime lenses that are S-line lenses, really nicely built. I like the design of them. It's just, it just looks minimalist and sleek, but the only real difference with this one is that it's just larger than all of the others. The key thing for me is that the F-mount 20 mm 1.8 was such a good lens. This lens has a really big kind of boot to fill, if that makes sense. Not that it's directly replacing it, obviously, it's just that it's the Z-mount equivalent. Anybody I spoke to that ever used the F-mount 20 mm 1.8 really loved it. I'd almost say that you know a lot of photographers that I spoke to and a lot of stuff that's kind of on the internet about this lens, it kind of almost became uh, almost like a, a cult classic. Like a lot of people just really like this lens for its character. Um, it was a good sharp lens. It wasn't necessarily the sharpest lens, but it was still a good lens that a lot of people liked for photography and also for astro. So this 20 millimeter F-mount lens is still a really good lens. And you can obviously still use that on the F-mount adapter. But the Z series lens does surpass that lens in picture quality. It's way sharper, way more detailed, and obviously offers a higher resolution. So when you are shooting with kind of higher resolution cameras, especially with Z7, for example, you are just gonna get better picture quality with the Z series 20 millimeter 1.8. I've only had a couple of shooting opportunities with this, so I've not spent as much time as with it as I would have liked, but over the kind of next couple of weeks, I'm gonna spend more time with it and also do some really detailed comparisons with this lens against things like the 24 millimeter prime, also the F mount 20 millimeter 1.8, see how they compare. I'm also just gonna compare it against the 14 to 30 
I'd like to be able to say to myself, right, which one of those lenses is going to offer me kind of the best? Is it the versatility of the 14 to 30, or is this 20 millimeter lens going to be so much better in terms of kind of sharpness and picture quality that I might switch from a 14 to 30 to the 20 millimeter lens? I don't think that will happen because I love shooting ultra wide 14 millimeters. So we'll have to see. I have to see how good this lens performs, um, but I will start making some of those detailed comparisons. The rest of this video, I have done some detailed shots, some close-up video shots of the lens itself, so you can see some of the details of the lens, and then also done some size comparisons, so this lens against the other prime lenses, also on body to show you against kind of what this lens looks like on camera body. But don't let its kind of size put you off. The, as I mentioned at the start of the video, the size is all down to just how good this lens is. I'll have, to, I'll have to dive into a bit more detail, but everything I've seen from it so far has been pretty impressive. So we'll take a look at that. Right, well, I hope that you found this kind of quick look video of this lens useful. If you do have any particular questions about this lens, then please do comment them down below. As always, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.